Oh crap. Don't do it, bud. Oh, nope. I can't see him. I need to get to the open. Oh, Jesus. That was a horrible shot. Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel. For today's video, we're taking out the muzzle loader. And, uh, wow, I actually haven't looked at this thing too much. That is an interesting. So, its close range is a little bit longer than the normal, like, Hyperion sight, and its far range is about 100 yards shorter. So, I'm guessing that means that for basically 164 yards and under, it's gonna have a fairly accurate shot, but then once you get over there, it's a very quick drop. We still brought the M1, but this time I brought it in its reserve coloration. And then just in case I need to cover 9 class, I still have my crossbow, which is not loaded. Now it is. Alright, that was okay. Now yesterday I managed to get uh, my mouse figured out. I honestly it was only the recordings I noticed here, but now it's, it should be a lot smoother. Uh, it was a Windows issue. Still can't fix the DPI issue I have with certain games like Hunting Simulator, where it turned all the way down it still zips around like a madman. But, uh, yeah, just a nice casual hunt and see what I can get with the 50 cal. Now, what I find interesting is if you switch to the round ball, it'll go all the way down to weapon class 3, which means I should be able to get black buck and access deer with this. And there's no class 8 animals here, so... Actually, in all reality, other than accuracy, because I believe... Yeah, the round ball has nowhere near the effective range. So here it's got an effective range of 218 yards. Here it's 109. That's... wait, 218 yards. Normally they do the midway sighting. So whenever you can do a sight adjust across the three adjusts, you'll have basically close, medium, far. So normally it's like 89, 164, 328 for... Uh, in yards for your normal, like this ammunition, like this 30 odd here. Uh, but here they're doing 218, which is the far. So I'm guessing 109 as far. So I'm not going to want to try and use that round shot unless I absolutely have to. Because that means that really, I'd probably be better off switching to the crossbow. But that being said, off I go and go see what it is I can find. That does remind me though, this is, uh, of course, the same area actually back that way right into the sun there is where I got the diamond red deer just yesterday. So not saying I'm going to run into another diamond. Chances are slim, but in case people are confused as to why I seem so excited, when red deer initially came out, I said I wanted a red deer. I mean, you can bear from Dragon Bear Gaming can vouch for this every time we go somewhere that has red deer. I want a big red deer. I've said it in videos, I've said it in streams. I wanted a big red deer. And ever since I first stepped foot on Hirschfeld and saw a red deer, I wanted a big red deer. And so that's been a long, long time coming. And for it to happen just by accident like that is ridiculous. Not this again. No, no, no. Oh, not this again. Why is that a weapon class 9 Puma? Huh? That's not right. Alright, so we're gonna... I do have it loaded up. Okay, well... Um... I guess I want to move to that tree thing over there. I don't know, where is he? He's headed to water. I'm willing to bet he's headed to water. Okay, it's been a minute. I just realized the wind changed direction completely. Of course. Um, which is amazing, because you look at the cloud cover, look at that. Which way is the wind going? Which way do you think the wind's going? Anyways. Um, so I need to head off this way. And I'm going to attempt to assume I know which way that animal's going. We are going to be sneaky about it because I did hear footsteps and twig snappage right down here to my right, uh, which the wind is currently now... See, that... To me, that almost seems like a cheat. That's how you know where all the good animals are. You know, all the eights and the nines. 
Look at the wind. The wind always points at him. I actually wonder if that's a mechanic in the game. If the wind is actually set to make things difficult. Like the difficulty level, it has nothing to do with their AI. It's just how hard the environment works on to fight you. Because I swear, every time I get near anything that might be a decent gold, the wind just starts snapping around to face that animal. I can't figure out where that came from. Stop examining the track. Tell me where the... Sa no, no, no. What are you doing? Stop examining the track. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, this is interesting. I think it was from somewhere over there. I think. Unfortunately, their fix, they did a few patches back to make it to where spotting animals took precedence over tracks and audio things never took properly, I guess. I'm quite certain I hear movement near me. I just can't tell what's wind and what's critter. I'm gonna get one more blast and switch to the gun. I can't see it, I can't see it. It's somewhere right in front of me. There it is. That's not it. That's a female. That's not what called. What? Um... Well, that was bizarre. I got a call earlier from a male. But that was a female. What what happened there? Why did I... What? There was no calls. Just so you know, I'm not editing any of that. That is... I had no calls. Alright, but she did come down from this way. That's just so bizarre. That There was no... Like, you could see the animation that she was supposed to be calling. All right, I don't know. I guess we're gonna mosey around a bit and see if we can't find where the, uh... Man, what's it called? A tom? Tomcat? No? Maybe? I might be thinking of something else. There's something moving in the brush right behind me. Am I hearing the wind? Well, here this thing has taken forever to cross 20 yards, or I'm here in the wind. Hey, the wind changed direction again. Now it's that way. Alrighty, well, on the bright side, since the wind has changed direction again, I can move on towards the water. What the hell? Okay, I just got another puma call. And again... It's from that direction, but I cannot get a, uh, like, a bead on it. Damn it, it's that female again. If she comes up to the right, I'll take her, but that's not the one I'm looking for. There's a... No. But I'm 90% sure that was a warning call. I'll give one more and see if we get a response. Ah, the wind never cooperates in this freaking game. Here, let me use some useless stuff that wastes my money. 
If anyone could explain to me what the set eliminator actually does, and I'm my only guess is it narrows your scent cone, but only for animals with bad scent, like sense of smell, to where things like puma and bear and lion they'll still be able to smell you, but maybe a deer can't. I don't know. Oh my lord, I found him. And he's upwind of me. Can I stand up? No, I cannot. Do not stand up. Ooh. I don't know where that... What? Is that the female behind me? There's a certain level, like a certain distance that they're at. It's almost impossible to tell what direction. It just sounds like it's coming from everywhere. Got my headset plugged in right, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, please don't tell me. How does it keep ending up behind me? Perfect. Can I stay in the... move to this bush here? Make another set of calls. Alrighty, so it has been... probably somewhere in the realms of 20 minutes. Wandered down where we heard that last Puma call. And it appears to be a max weight Puma. Headed back the way I came. Of course, as per the usual with as it is with Hunter Call of the Wild, Follow the wind, because whatever's downwind of you is always the animal you want. So, downwind is a max level male puma. So, off I go. Alrighty, so we finally have gotten close enough on the trail, we're starting to see folded over foliage. That is a good sign. Because that means I actually am going to have an easier time being able to find the track, versus wandering around aimlessly, hoping I see the little green bleaky E pop up. Now, what is that? That's something right there, isn't it? Yeah, it's running right here. Holy dear lord, look at that mule deer. Or, mule deer, red deer. That's a six hard red deer right there, 295 out. Alright, it has been a minute. However, where'd it go? There it is. There's the poo. And it is, now it, now it says old. I swear to god, it just said fresh. Alright, so it seems to just keep staying just out of visibility, but right across the top of this hill just a second ago, I saw the black buck fleeing. So I think... I just got a mule deer... Oh, my scent trail. Okay, maybe it was a mule deer I saw. Alrighty, I have great hope that we're getting pretty close to this thing, only because there's water here. So, I'm going to take a whack that what's happening is I'm approaching its next drink zone. I'm not actually sure what it was doing at the last lake. Since there is a body of water ahead, what I might be able to do is just peek over the top. And once I think I'm in range, hit it with some calls and call it to me. Hopefully. Uh-oh. Red Deer warning call. Oh, I see you. What do we got there? You are... That's a seven? We might come back for you. Yeah, those I'm not too worried about because they are... They don't flee anywhere near as far as the Puma go. Well, that is... Interesting. We have uh It looks like it ran around in circles here for a second. Oh my lord, I haven't been recording that whole time. Okay, so that call there was a female. I've turned tracks back on, and I had to do that because the track just, like, wouldn't... It disappeared. It has completely disappeared, but it's so faint. I think I see one right here. Now, the only issue I'm really, really going to have here is that there appear to be a gratuitous amount of angry buffalo in this direction. 
Yeah, so I don't actually know what the plan is at this moment. Somewhere ahead of me is a puma, and the tracks have gotten so rare, and it's gone again. Like, just, there's no track. Oh, but there are a ton of aggressive buffalo out there. And they've been aggressive this whole time, which leads me to believe that the, the puma's somewhere over there. Look at that one. Is that seriously a seven? Come back up here. Let me spot you. Yeah, that's a seven. Wait. I'm an idiot. Of course that's what happens. See, now what's weird is you look at my my hunter mate and the track. That's clearly buffalo, but that's not... Wait. What? What is going on with this game right now? This is the problem I've been having. Is that... The, the tracks are getting all mix-matched. Is this it? No. It was over here somewhere. But I have to use this map because, for whatever reason... What? What? Lord, let me just get eyes on it to see what the heck made that noise. Does it have a zone right here and I'm spooking it out of the zone? No, that's the female. That's the wrong freaking animal. Stop tracking the damn female. Alright, back to... Can't even see the bugger. Alright, what do we got here? That's the female. That's the wrong trap. That's still the female. That's the wrong track. There it is. This one. <sighs> you see the problem? Wait. Did it change color again on me? No. Now, I, I could have sworn I picked another track up over here. But I guess I didn't. Okay. Oh, no. There it is. Where is this call? Okay, so this is what it did in the very beginning. Was that... I could not identify the call of the male. And then that female did that weird thing where it called but no sound came out. Granted, that was three hours ago at this point. I think it's over here. It might be trying to work its way back like that other one did. Which, what's that way? Is it really just trying to head back? Look at that thing. That's a seven. Look at the rack on that. Okay, so that's the seven we spotted when we first walked up here. Wait, what was that? It's angry buffalo? Yeah, the buffalo are still completely aggressive over there. Yes! Okay. We're within range. And there we go again. And if that was a warning call, then he's already fled, and we're, we're back to another three hours of trying to figure out where he went. Oh my lord, he's right there. Wait. No, that's a buffalo. Oh my lord, I, for a second I just saw it like through the grass and I'm like, he's running kind of goofy, but that's a that's a melanistic uh, puma. Wasn't a puma at all. I just have to keep working my way around. Hopefully not getting in the trail of, you know, total destruction by the buffalo. So I'm starting to run into the issue that, uh, well, I'm gonna run out of daylight. Oh, hey. There's a black buck. What do we got here? That is one of those... Uh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Where'd it go? Uh, let's, try, let's try to get that guy back over here for a second.
There it is. Yep. Well, that did the trick. Oh, hey, look, I actually had the wadding on that one. All right, now he doesn't have the big horn, so he's going to be a gold, but let's take a look here. I just, he was max weight. Yep, big, big gold. 25.3. Oh, no, barely into gold, barely into gold, but max weight potential. 99.21 pounds, so, well, I will take that one for the money. Now I'm going to cheat and turn tracks back on and see if I can't get a get a lead on where this dang puma went. I mean it Oh boy. This ought to be interesting. Oh hey look, puma track. Are you kidding me? So tracks on and all. No more playing around. This is in fact the same puma and it looks like it is headed back for the other lake. Oh crap. Don't do it, bud. Oh, nope. I can't see him. I need to get to the open. Oh, Jesus. That was a horrible shot. On the plus side, there are my Puma tracks. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, what did we get here? We ruined a gold. He was just a gold seven. Oh, is he that seven from earlier? Oh, wait. What did I hit? Oh, wow. I miss. I really thought that was a headshot, but apparently I got full vitals on that. Nice. All right. Well, there's an easy 1300. I don't know how close we're getting, but we're definitely getting close enough that I need to be a little careful with my noise. So right over, I think it was there. No, right back there, like over in that area, is where that female, we came across that female. We're going to find this bugger. We are not too far off. You know, the first time I heard that, I thought there was a plane with a broken engine falling out of the sky. I'm not going to lie. His track disappeared again. It's the next ravine? It's gotta be the next ravine, right? Gotta be getting close, I mean... There's only so much map he can travel, right? It's a cold day outside. Which usually means I can do longer recording sessions. Because the heat in the room doesn't build up as fast. It's still getting hot in here, that's how long it's been. Wait a second. Oh my god, that's him. What is the distance on that shot? He went all the way over the... That is 177 yards. Is there... Yeah, we could do that. Let's, uh, let's actually go ahead and just scroll this in for 164 on the dot. This is him. I don't know, when's that drink zone up? Soon. Well, we have some time. Uh, I'm gonna just get it to where the animal's registering 164. Right on the dot. I wanna do his black powder. I wanna make sure I have the right ammunition. I do. We wanna turn off track. Yeah, I'm doing all this while we're waiting. I should hurry up and take the shot, right? I mean... But I think I'll be fine. Can I see him if I lie down? Yes, I can. We'll be able to really steady this shot. Here we go. <sighs> Obliterated. Oh, my lord.
So in the last couple times on this map, I have now pulled a legendary red deer, a big gold black buck, and two mythical pumas. That That's insane. For some reason, this map has been very kind to me for, for lately. I'm sorry, my speech might start to get a little bit bad because I done sit in the heat too long. All right, I'll hop on, take a look at what red deer are around. Ooh, a puma, that won't take long. All to end up back, I'm pretty sure, back where I started. Because I'm guessing he was either in this ravine or this ravine this morning. Holy hell. And, after all that work, he is. Drumroll, please. Nah, no, just, just do it. 0.8 away from Diamond. Track for 2.13 miles, 204 pounds. That was a glorious double lung with the 50 cal uh, using the mini ball at 165 yards. He apparently was looking up at that particular moment, probably seeing a duck or something. 38.2, a monster gold. I can't, oh no, I can't, uh oh. All right, we need to get rid of something. Common 285. I'm going to overwrite that because I think I can get Kemsbach pretty easily. Okay, close. And remember it needed what? Okay, so real quick, I need to go shoot some stuff. All right, I've decided the way I'm going to make money today is stupid stuff. We got the 470. And we're in Buffalo territory. There we go. Reload would be nice. 1400. Yeah. Oh! No, well, that one got. How is he not dying? Oh, Jesus. And he's down. How badly did I screw this one up? Yep, I did all three shots, and he was only a 149. Eh, okay, well, still a grand in cash. See another one down there. on that one. And where are we at? Uh, I kind of would like two more. Oh my god. Why would I, why would I slow down? Oh hey, look, there's one aggressive. Left lung liver, 129. Cool, 1200 cash. Shot. Still bled out. And here he is piled up. Didn't look half bad. He was a seven. Still? There's another grand. All right, we got a nice solid 12,000. That'll cover my ammo expenses for the day and allow us to taxidermy the puma. What size thing does the puma need? How does a puma not fit on this? You're telling me a puma, a puma is bigger than that. Okay, well, what about here? There I can place it. Alrighty, there you have it. Why did you put the pull to that way? Alright. So, there it is. The point six was it off from Diamond? 
Yeah, 0. 0.6 off from Diamond Puma. That took now three hours and ten minutes to hunt. See? Now that just goes to show you. I have the ability to make easy things look difficult. Because I could have stayed in that same watering area, just sat there. And it would have come back around. But... That'll do it for this one. So, there's buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't, and as always, buttons to push. Until next time.